I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just those categories. If you ever play in a tournament, you could come home with a prize if you practice with this skill. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. Odd will be player one, even will be player two. I rolled an odd, so we're going to be player one. I'll get 28 tiles. Wow, <laughs> look at all those dots. We could probably build two hands out of just the dots. So we have a joker, a flower, dragons with a pair, east and west. Then we have cracks, singles. We have two pair with bams, twos and fives. Here we have pung of ones, a two dot pair, then single five and three there, six, seven, eight pairs. If these were your tiles, what categories would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play a singles and pair hand and a consecutive run hand. Singles and pairs, consecutive Kongs with the matching dragon. Fifth hand down. And then I would play the five, seven, nine pair hand, third one down under singles and pairs. Use these as joker bait for this hand up here. These would all be discards. That's some hefty joker bait because we wouldn't be able to use the joker bait here because this is a singles and pairs hand. But this would allow us to play consecutive run and singles and pairs. I would hold on to this till the end of the third wall or towards the end, maybe half, since we have so much, maybe half of the third wall see if we could get a couple jokers up here we could kong here we could even we could even pong here or kong here with the joker all we would need are more flowers which we might be able to get here consecutive run singles and pairs the other option might be like numbers with ones and dragons, but we have only one big multiple with the ones and a multiple with the dragon. Let's see if we have three, six, seven versus three, four, five, six, seven. It's kind of equal. Oh, eight. There's one more because we could use this. So maybe hold this for a while do these first maybe the middle of the middle wall and then discard these hold this for potential like numbers so we have one two three four five six seven eight versus three four five six seven like numbers like numbers is just a little better by one tile so maybe play that instead You know what though? It's kind of six one half dozen the other because we have no one bam. 
and we won't be able to use all the jokers or jokers the dragons so this we wouldn't be able to use really because we've got a good potential kong here so maybe pair then pung with the one and dragon and then use that as the kong we wouldn't be able to use this white dragon so it's really six one half dozen the other we're kind of in between like numbers of course we wouldn't use this flower or one two dragon so i would hold them and see which comes in the consecutive run hand you can call for the drag the like numbers with ones and dragons is concealed and it's pretty weak i think so i think that would be a plan b discard those hold this for plan b discard these first for joker bait later here and then build on the single and pair hand i have watched many games and played in many games online at, Ma at mahjong time in siamese mahjong with Siamese Mahjong, a lot of players have at least one pair hand or quint because at the end, the score is compared and whoever has the highest score overall wins the session, the game. So if you can plan in a big hand, try to do that. Otherwise, if you have strong hands for two Win, uh, winning hands then push for a simultaneous mahjong where you get double value for both so i would say those are kind of two different approaches to the end game one big hand with a regular hand or two really strong regular hands for simultaneous mahjong in this case it would be a pair hand and a regular hand maybe a concealed hand this was a bit complicated but I think it'd be doable singles and pairs and consecutive run I think that's probably what I would play rolled an even number so we're going to be player two this time we have jokers which is nice single red dragon lots of cracks with a kong of sixes then we have a seven and a pair of eights lots of cracks here we have a pair of threes and a seven eight then down here we have a pair of ones pung of fours five seven eight nine pung of fours pair of ones lots of bams lots of cracks jokers we need to force hands in these categories so if these were your tiles, which categories would you force and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would force like numbers and 2468. We wouldn't be able to use the entire Kong here, I don't think. like numbers with ones joker bait two four six eight second hand down under evens we'd have to put up two jokers for the two but we could pung kong that's done we could maybe even use this here for kong this hand is actually set if we use all the jokers which i probably would not do 
I would maybe try to do it concealed. That way you can use the jokers interchangeably. This is a concealed hand. So I think I would try to do this concealed and shoot for double mahjong. It's going to be a challenge though because we're really light with like numbers. Because we have so many discards, nine with joker bait, which is really not bad. Eight with joker bait, we really have just one extra tile. If I'm playing like numbers, we could maybe keep the sevens. For plan B. If we draw even two sevens, we could swap this out and use these as joker bait and build up the sevens because we have all three sevens. We only have two ones. So I think just as an option, I would hold sevens. And you might also think, well, why not do like numbers with eights? That would deplete the two, four, six, eight hand, and that is up on the board. Two, four, six, eight, like numbers. Since we have no flowers, I wouldn't try addition. And we have no white dragons, we have no twos, so I wouldn't try a year hand either. We only have one nine. We do have ones, but no twos, white dragons, and only one nine. So I would force like numbers and evens. Now we have to force addition and year. We're going to need year tiles and flowers. Those can be a bit hard to come by. I rolled an even, so we're going to be player two. Look what turned over. Okay, we have jokers, two flowers, almost news, white dragon, one, two, pair twos. Here we have a pair of ones and a two, four, seven, eight, pair of sevens here. Then we have dots, one, two, pair of four, pung of fours, pair of fives. So we need to do a year hand and, a, and an addition hand. So for an addition hand, we got a zero in on fives. We have a five right there. We do have a seven here, and we even have a one, two. The question is, do we have leftover tiles for a year hand? We're using flowers for addition. Let's build addition first. So here's addition. Flowers, 12, 5, 7. We could even maybe do, no, I was thinking 5, 6, 11, but we have the wrong ones, or the wrong 6. We would need a 6 crack. And we still need year tiles. So here we have news potential. We could do 2019... We're missing a nine. We could do 2019 with news concealed or news with 2019. We could maybe use this as another plan because right now we have no nines. So I think I would hold. Okay, I would hold. Let's see here. 
I would hold all these for year potential. Now this is the year category. So if we did news with 2019 second hand down under Winds and Dragons, that's not a hand we're forcing. So we need to get rid of that. News concealed. I think I would still hold these to see what comes in because we have an 09. Then down here, 5, 7, 12, and then this is Joker Bait. Discard these first. So we have a year hand and an addition hand, mixed suit, 5, 7, 12. These would take work, but there's potential there. I've been observing a lot of online play and it really does amaze me the recurring hands that I keep seeing. I think the overall favorite for the year is consecutive run second from the bottom. I see that hand every day, every day that I play online. So what that tells me is that people have favorites. People see certain patterns and go for those patterns again and again. But really you can do just about anything when you play Siamese Mahjong because you have so many tiles to work with. If you want to play outside your comfort zone, try Siamese Force. Pre-select categories and force yourself to make hands work in categories that you might not normally think about. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Siamese Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.